Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. This is Haley's Daily. I need to stop doing that. I don't know why. If you're new to my channel, I'm gonna need you to, like along here, just hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, just because you already, you know, you're on the video, you might as well click thumbs up because that's the nice humanly thing to do. This is so cool. Okay, so I'm so excited, you guys. Um, I don't have all my setup ready, and I keep saying that like every video that I post, but I'm just gonna keep reiterating that my videos are gonna continue to get better and better and better. I just need to continue to get like the rest of my stuff. Like I just figured out a new trick, which has made me so excited. Hopefully this new trick will help my newer videos along the line because now I can see myself, like I'm looking at me, I can see you over there. So if I keep looking this way, it's because I found out an even better way to record. Nobody wants to say hi to you. Can you say hi? Say hi. Hi, good morning. Hi. She see, Siri sees herself, so now she just wants to look that way. Anyway, moving forward. So today's video is just gonna be um, me practicing another makeup look. I'm not really sure what color I'm going with today. I'm not sure what look I'm going for today, but I figured, you know, you have to practice and I'm not gonna ever get better or it's always gonna be mediocre or not to my fullest. So I'm just, you know, gonna practice. I'm gonna use some different X today that I don't normally usually use, just to, you know, switch it up. If you're ready to see what I do to this face, please say but Yeah, so stay tuned. You know what, I even changed my mind. I usually, or well, for a while now, I do my eyebrows first and then I do the rest of my face, but something tells me that I need to just switch it up and really find out what's my like my niche. So I'm actually gonna do my my base first and then we're gonna do my eyebrows. Only two colors match me right now. It's probably gonna be between my Maybelline uh, Poreless Matte Foundation or my L'Oreal Paris because those are the only ones that match me. Oh wait, no, my sister. My sister. My sister actually gave me some foundation in those little pods what I talked about in my last video that I just posted. So you know what, I guess I will try those. I'm gonna use the Super Balanced Honeycomb Matte Foundation from Clinique. This is what it looks like. So the first thing I'm gonna put on is my, um, my Estee Lauder Illuminator Radiant Perfecting Primer and Finisher. This is like, to me, I don't consider this a primer. I consider this more like a moisturizer because I think, I don't know. It does something, does it? I just like, it feels like moisturizer. I just use it as a moisturizer. And if it's a primer, then hey, like that's double, double the primer because I'm still gonna put something else on. I'm gonna use the uh, the new primer she got me. She, I have to like refer she to Tatiana. So I'm gonna use the, um, the new primer Tatiana sent me, which is the Bare Minerals. Okay, I keep getting messy. I am so messy, I'm so messy. Okay, it's Prime Time Original Foundation Primer. It doesn't tell you if it's for like uh, oily or dry skin, so I'm not sure. I know that it has a silicone like texture. Also, I show this in my last video, the What's in the Box video. You should go check that out. I hate, hey, taking off my glasses and then you see the my foundation on the brim of my glasses or you see the imprint on my nose. That's why I wanna get contacts so bad. I know I wanna get surgery. That's like my my top goal is to get surgery. But you know, baby steps. I have never even tried uh, contacts before. So this is, I don't even know how I'm gonna get surgery if I can't even try contacts. This, this feels so soft. I have an appointment on the 20th with the eye doctor. So we shall see. Okay, so my sister also got me this color corrector, but I don't trust myself to use this yet. Color correcting is when you um, you apply before your foundation and you apply it around your dark spots so you can even out your skin tone so you can have a, you know, a nice even base before you put your foundation on. But again, I don't trust myself with this. So far, I mean, pretty yellow. Then I'm gonna use the same foundation blending brush, which I gotta clean my stuff, to be honest. What I can say so far that I feel about this foundation is it's pretty thick. It doesn't feel like heavy on my face, but the foundation itself is pretty thick. It's not a watery based foundation. All right, I feel like that's pretty blended so far. I don't really have anything to say. 
I'm gonna use my Maybelline uh, Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the color Caramel. Uh, conceal under my eyes. Nice. A little fun fact, I'm left-handed. It's random, but it's a fact, I'm left-handed. <laughs> You know what's funny? My grandma growing up, she was the type of grandmother, very religious. Uh, she's a missionary Baptist. And she used to tell me when I got in trouble that they used to, they're still left-handed kids when they are first born because it was unnatural for the kids to be left-handed. And sometimes they would force the kids to write with their right hand and not their left. And if you couldn't write with your left, they would kill them. My grandmother used to tell me stories like that when I was little. All right, now to highlight I'm so scared. I feel like this is gonna be way too freaking light. I don't know where my concealer brush is. Put that down on my nose. I can't tell if this is too light for me yet. I don't know. For one thing, I could say my face feels very matte. And I'm not even done blending it. Now we're going to use contour. And usually I use my LA Girl Pro Concealer, but like I said, I'm trying to do things that I don't usually do. So I'm gonna go back to my Fenty in the color Truffle. I'm gonna take this brush right here and uh, wipe it so I can contour my nose. Cause if I do this, I'm gonna mess up. I kind of go overboard sometimes when it comes to my nose contour, so I have to be very careful and, you know, very lightly. I don't need that much. Honestly, I don't need to contour my nose. It's going to be big. It's big. Ain't nothing I could do about it. I know it's to sculpt it, but my nose is going to be whatever it is. Okay, so who else is obsessed with Cardi B's new album? Shoot. I'm in love with them. I'm not a fan of She's Bad, uh, She Bad and Drip Drip. Like they're good songs, but they're just not something I want to listen to over and over again. But I like it. Uh, Best Life with Chance the Rapper and um, Get Up 10. Those are my, my favorite. She killed them. And Nicki Minaj too. Like I, I know I'm about to get up on this beef though and talk celebrity gossip, but for real, like I don't understand why people compare people. Don't get me wrong. Do I like Cardi B's album more than I like Nicki Minaj's uh, Chung Lee and Barbie Tings? Yes, I, I enjoy Cardi B's more, but do does that mean that I don't like Barbie Tings? And do I think that uh, Nicki Minaj is less of a female rapper than Cardi B? Absolutely not, because you know, I, everybody knows like, I need to I'm sitting here talking, I need to finish, like, I, I need to powder my face. Nicki Minaj might feel some type of way because Cardi B's coming up in the action or whatever, but it's not that serious. Scoped out that nose. All right, now it's time to bake. So I only, uh, Excuse me, the only setting powder that I have right now is the Milani one. I want Laura Mercier. I want Beauty Bakery's flower powder. I want Sasha Buttercups. And I want Makeup Revolutions. But right now, this is what I have. Which I'm fine with. I just don't know if it's too yellow, which ends up giving me my white cast. So I'm gonna add a teensy bit amount of setting powder. All right, I'm not a baker. I am not a baker. Same powder brush I always use. And instead of using my IT Cosmetics powder, I'm going to use this Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder, Deluxe Finishing Powder Oil Control Formula in the color Medium. And I'm gonna use that to set the rest of my face. Refresh my face with the Mario Podestri Spray as always. Eyeshadow. That's going to be the fun and the tricky part. What color should I use? No idea. God, the fucking kids. Like, you guys don't know, but every five seconds I have to pause my fucking video because I know there are two. I know, I know. But if you got toys, TV, and snacks, and what are we gonna do today? Hmm. I'm so scared when it comes to eyeshadow. Like, I'm not like, so what we're gonna do, 
We're gonna take uh, Control Freak. Oh, shit. We're gonna take Control Freak right here, and we're gonna use that as a tra transition color. Your crease bone down to where your nose is at. She gonna do what to who? <laughs> this darker, this darker color right here, mousse. We're gonna take that and we're gonna put that in our outer crease. My ColourPop concealer and put that on my lid. I'm take a fairy tale. Okay. I see what it can be. I see the potential. I'm gonna blend out this top right here again. Oh, bitch. I didn't even do my eyebrows, bitch. I forgot. See, my eyebrows are usually the first thing I do, and I forgot to do them, so. Guys, I'm back, and I'm better. I got my eyebrows done. They might be uneven. I didn't even line them out yet, so bear with me. I forgot. I actually have to admit I like the step of not doing my eyebrows first and doing my base first as long as I can remember to do my eyebrows because I didn't. I think I, it came out better. They don't look that bad to me compared to other times. <laughs> what we're going to do is what we're going to do is I'm going to clean them up. Just a little bit. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Pure Beige. This one right here. I also have this other bronzer. It's uh, by Milani. This baked bronzer in the color Dulce. But I honestly don't think it's my color. I've had this for such a long time, this Milani Bake Bronzer, and I didn't even know this was underneath there. Like, look, I didn't know it did that. It's a little dusty. I'm not gonna use it. It seems way too dusty for me. My Milani Bush in Coral Cove. She's broken. <laughs> She's broken. some pink up in those cheeks highlight and I'm going to use my Jackie Anna I'm, I'm going to use her I have to use her but I'm actually gonna go into my NARD and it's called uh, I don't know what it's called actually she's a mess she's a mess too I don't even want to show you I can't I can't show you that's how messy she is so I'm gonna take one color and it's the darkest one so I don't know if you can see it but I'm just gonna put that one down first then I'm gonna go into my artist couture and Jackie Ina the color the bronze the bronze the bronze the bronze. okay Do you see it? Like, do you see her? I swear, everybody and the mama has been calling me throughout the time that I've been making this video. So I'm so worried that my video is not gonna come out flawless because I've been having to stop. I'm just kidding. So, uh, last but not least, my mascara and my lips, it's lip liner in brown. All right, Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Ashton. I'm gonna be using like three different mascaras because I'm just gonna use three different ones. One is from L'Oreal, and the two other ones are from Clinique. Mama, mama, hmm. mama, hmm. Does mommy look pretty? So pretty? You say so pretty, mommy. Don't step on my stuff. What's a video without me messing up, right? Of course, on mascara. 
the worst thing to ever mess up on. I'm gonna spray my face again. Yeah. Do what do? I think I did a pretty good job. I am pretty good. I have creasing underneath my eyes, but that always happens. As far as like my contour and my blush, and my highlight, from me like me knowing my makeup i did really good and i'm proud of myself like i said my videos are just practice getting better i think this is me getting better so if you guys like the look please leave me a comment if you like the look please give me a thumbs up if you like the look if you like me i'm gonna need you to just hit that subscribe button hit that bell button and um oof, my nose itches yeah thank you so much for watching Look cute? Do I look cute? If I look cute, tell me look cute. Leave a heart if I look cute. Leave a heart if you just want to support a girl because it's hard out in these streets. Like, for real. Let me get to these kids. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.